if you are a young or older adult and have never experienced any of the uncertainties of life, for example, you have never experienced a loss of something or someone you cherished, you have never had a disappointing experience, or you have never been involved in something that you failed at, that is, you have never failed to achieve something you tried so hard to get. I will not dispute your claim because that is your truth. What I will say, however, is that you should count yourself very lucky, but understand that you are an exception, but that experience will come because you're human. So you should brace yourself because you are going to be disappointed. Something is going to go wrong. It is life. History is replete with people who tried and failed many times before they succeeded at what they were striving at. Abraham Lincoln, who remains one of history's most lauded uh, presidents, failed many, many times, but he never gave up. He went on to become a very successful president of the United States. Sometimes we give up after one disappointment, and at other times we don't even try to strive for what we desire because we are afraid that we will fail. A philosopher once said, uh, early in the last century, that the greatest failure is not he who tried and failed, but he who did not try because was afraid he will fail. Failure or disappointment should not define you, but should provide you with lessons that you should embrace and employ those lessons the next time you try. Now, let's pretend that you're in my office. I will have you do an exercise with me. Get a pen and paper or a notepad. I will wait. Now, Think back two years. Write a list of three to five things you hoped to accomplish by this time. Put a check by the ones you actually worked on. Next, next, which of those did you achieve? Strike them off. And now write why you did not accomplish them. What are your lessons from this exercise? Think about that.